Petroleum Development Oman PDO today, 12th May, celebrated the 85th anniversary of its foundation in 1937 during its annual PDO Day event. The occasion is held every year to mark the anniversary of Let His Majesty Sultan Qabus bin Said's historic official visit to the company's Beit Mina Al Fahal headquarters building in 2013, as well as recognizing the achievements and contributions of staff in both technical and non-technical fields. The company also launched a set of commemorative stamps uh, produced by Oman postmarking momentous years in its history, including its establishment in 1937 and the first exports of oil 55 years ago in 1967. And guests and employees enjoyed a photo exhibition marking uh, PDO's past, uh, present and future. His Excellency Engineer Salim al Oufi said as evident uh, through its very very proud history, PDO has played a central role in the development of the Sultanate over many decades. It was a pleasure to attend the PDO Day, which provided an excellent opportunity to reflect on these special milestones of the company and to recognize the talented Domani professionals who were at the forefront of many of these success stories. Managing Director Steve Femister said PDO has an illustrious uh, history and it will build on those solid foundations as it enter a new era and capture the opportunities that come with energy transition. Today is PDO Day 2022, which is indeed a huge celebration for us. Uh, it marks actually the ninth anniversary of the visit of the late Sultan Qaboos to, here, to PDO here in Mina Al Fahal. But also really importantly, this year, it is the 85th anniversary of the foundation of PDO. PDO has been with us in Oman for 85 years. But also, it's 55 years since the first shipment of Oman crude from here to international markets. So it's a huge year for us. And to celebrate that, we've had a number of awards here today for our staff who've contributed throughout the last few years through COVID keeping the business going and really, really excelling. And I thank all of them for their contribution. And we're really excited because with the energy transition, we think we've got a strong foundation to drive forward for another 85 years or more. And that means that we're gonna continue our role of providing and sustaining the economy and revenue for the country through development of natural resources, hydrocarbons, oil and gas. But more and more we will do that in a very carbon competitive and a sustainable fashion. During the event, PDO revealed its 85th anniversary logo to celebrate its continuous development and evolution as it embarks on its decarbonization journey with a greater emphasis on renewables such as solar and wind. As part of the festivities, uh, the winners of the Chairman's uh, Award for Excellence, CAE, and the Dr. Abdullah Lamke Award for Developing Talent, Delta, were celebrated. The Oil North Directorate, Gas Directorate, and Project Delivery Team won the Gold Technical Award for completing the Yebal Kuf Mega Project, the most technically complex in PDO history. The scheme will provide a major revenue boost for the nation, so with a daily production of of 20,000 barrels of oil, 5.4 million cubic meters of gas, and 230 tons of sulfur. The non-technical gold went to the Corporate Planning Directorate for developing and embedding the company's decarbonization strategy, which lays out a roadmap for achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050 and halving them by 2030. It's actually a pleasure and an honor uh, to be winning the gold award today uh, under the um, title of embedding and developing the decarbonization strategy in PDO. We actually started this journey um, back in 2018 where we formed the work, um, the core working teams, uh, which is governed by the Energy Management MTC subcommittee. And a lot of work has been going since then. Uh, we have recently launched the Energy Management Online Training, which is mandatory for all PDO staff. And this is actually a crucial um, element for the organization to change overall. So it's really an honor. And we're looking forward for further um, achievements. The winner of the Delta was Functional Maintenance and Integrity Manager, Nasser bin Saeed bin Abdullah Toki for his work mentoring young colleagues. This is really is, the, is an award for developing youth. If you can see that, you know, 
in PDO we have lots of uh, young, talented uh, uh, staff. And in, in line with the vision of 2040, is really, really, PDO want to focus really on developing young, uh, young guys. So it's our role as leaders really to focus on listening to them, uh, be, uh, to trust them, and to give them the opportunity really to, to, to show their creativity. That's really the key, key main thing really drive us to really for this, uh, this program and so on. PDO has a long and very proud history and has played a central role in the development of the Sultanate. The PDO Day provide an excellent opportunity to reflect on the origins of the company and recognize the contributions of everyone who has helped the company what it is today. Abdullah bin Ahmed al-Rabi'i, PDO Masqal.